hi there myself abhilash uh, as you all know i am running an excel blog by name excel to excel.com and today i have posted one post uh, which says like difference between sum and auto sum right so i just want to uh, explain this post uh, in a video so i thought of uh, uh, preparing this video okay uh, this is basically uh, a simple feature uh, however uh, you find some difference okay let me explain that let me prepare uh, a data for you okay uh, I'm preparing uh, data in front of you so that uh, you will also learn few tips uh, in this uh, through this video as well so let me prepare the data say I want students data including marks for, for students okay i have uh, a great formula here which i'll use uh, is equal to choose i'm sorry rand between one comma five comma see abilash Anushka and Tony Arnold and Ambrish. Okay. Okay, let me prepare this. preparing marks using grand between again okay say 75 between 75 and 100 so I have random numbers sorry that's all uh, the data is ready let me format for you okay yes why i have prepared this data is because uh, most of the people when they, when i go for uh, teaching they say uh, we don't have data to work with excel so please provide some data so that's that's the ma major questions that are major question that i come across in the training so i just thought of uh, preparing in front of you so that it is easy for you to get some data if you are eager if you are hungry to learn this excel okay so uh, let me uh, go ahead with uh, sum versus auto sum okay see uh, for example let me reduce this uh, ribbon uh, using control I'm sorry control F1 okay okay uh, we have uh, auto sum option in formulas right see we have auto sum function i'll just click auto sum okay see when i click auto sum it selects the whole data just hit enter that's all you get the data okay and how about the sum right so if you if you want uh, the sum let me go to the formulas okay let me select this data before I go before I do that I'll select this data and go to formulas auto sum click on sum okay if I click on sum I'm sorry formulas sum click on sum see even if I I have just selected the range d4 to d15 right but uh, the sum is uh, the sum function will take the value of uh, all these okay below the uh, like immediate blank cell okay this is immediate blank cell right okay uh, this auto sum is something like you can keep wherever you want either below the 
column like uh, either d d either d16 either d16 d17 d18 d19 anywhere in the column you keep it and use the auto sum okay you will get the result but when you keep a uh, sum function you have when you select this data it automatically comes and places the sum sum of these values below the uh, selected cells okay selected range i mean to say i think you understood right okay uh, if you if you want to uh, sum if you want to sum uh, different cells okay if you want to uh, sum particular cells you can you can do that uh, right using sum function but auto sum you cannot do that if you click on formulas and click on uh, sum you will automatically get all the above cells above non blank cells okay including blank cells wherever non blank cell starts then it stops there so it selects all the data and it gives the result okay so that's the that's the major difference between uh, sum function and auto sum function okay uh, this is what i'm uh, uh, this is what i have posted uh, in today's uh, uh, post okay so you can go through this post if you like this post please uh, uh, click on this register and uh, uh, enroll enroll to this website enroll to this blog which is again free fine that's all uh, for today uh, see you in the next video see you bye bye